We are back at the river cabin this morning and it is cold and it is foggy and we just finished up breakfast. I made pancakes and bacon and the boys are getting ready. We're about to get on our hiking clothes because it's really too cold to do a whole lot at the farm. So we decided to come up here and enjoy some porch time and enjoy some mountain view time this weekend. So going to get out and do a little exploring. This is Azzy's first time to stay at the river. So we're getting her used to everything. And within just a matter of a few minutes, the rivers went from so foggy you could barely see to fogs burning off and sun's coming. She got on. We just made it over to our in-laws house and for a cup of coffee. They also have a VRBO cabin um, right down the road from us in Mountain View, right down the road from our cabin. So the boys have been out this morning playing on the scooter, riding their one wheels. And if you're up in Mountain View area and you need a three bedroom, what is it, two and a half bath cabin? Yeah. This is the option that you want. They have a gorgeous view and they even have um, a loft upstairs with more bedding. So our cabin's just one bedroom, one bath, perfect for couples. But if you've got a big family or a couple families wanting to come up, awesome spot. I will link the um, VRBO number in the comments. We're about to go hiking. If I can ever get the boys loaded up in this truck. There's one wheeling and playing. Let's go, Willie, you ready? So as soon as you come across the Sillimore Creek Bridge, there's a National Forest um, sign pointing down this hill. And we're gonna show you a really cool um, hiking trail. It's beautiful, it goes right along the Sillimore Creek and it's super close believe, to town. You're I what? believe it's called North Sillimore Creek Trail. Yes. Right. Uh, we'll get a picture of the sign down here, but this is what, 10 minutes from Mountain View and like two minutes up the road from Sillimore down by Anglers. So very close, easy to get to, neat little trail down here, and we'll show you how to access it. So here's the upper fork of Sillimore Creek. Normally in the summer, you can't see it down there, but um, right now with the trees off, you can see exactly the way the Creek runs. This road getting down here, it, it's a little sketchy. You don't really want to meet a lot of traffic. There's pull off spots, but it is one, one lane down, one lane back up. And here's what's crazy. As close as we are to some bigger cities and as limited access as we have to some hiking trails, this one today is completely empty. So the North Sillimore well, Creek Trail. I don't think it's limited access that we have. I think it's... Just people don't take advantage of it. We, it's, I wouldn't say limited access because we've got all We live in a blessed area. area. In the world. But Let's why is this... that one from the clip. No, it's true. I'm saying it. I'm saying it. We have access to trails, but no one's utilizing it. I have my water and these boys are ready to go. Ryder, that's my walking stick. We are entering the start of the trail. Rickson's wanting to ride his one wheel, but there's a little ditch right there. We've, got, we've had a lot of rain this week, so a little bit muddy today. Gonna, Ryder said his one wheel can handle it. He can go anywhere on that thing. I gotta get an aftermarket tire because my street tire does not ride this stuff that I do. Well, doesn't look like you're having any trouble. No. We're gonna go into the creek. I don't know why. Get on the trail. And this one runs right along Sillmore Creek. The boys have taken off and left us. Hopefully we don't get our feet too wet. We might have to. Yeah, we may get to some deep spots we have to cross and walk over, but we'll see. Good, nice, clearly marked trail. One of my favorite things to do um, this time of year trying to get over the winter blues is to get out and go shed hunting 
So it is end of January right now, and um, some of our bucks have already started shedding their antlers. You may still see some with them on, but um, after that last hard freeze, we've got some dropping, and that is one of my favorite pastimes. End of January, February, early March is to get out in the woods and look for antler sheds. I just use them for decoration and just whatever. Okay, guys, what we're going to do them. here, oh. we're going to take our shoes and socks off, roll our pants up, carry them across the creek, and then put our shoes and socks back on on the other side. What? I'm not doing that. It's freezing. You're joking, right? Is this cold water challenge? Let's go up a little bit and see if there's a better spot to cross. But I mean, we got it. There's a trail. Up that so. hill, those little set of stairs. No, I got a good idea. You could, do, you could. Oh, I got, I got a good Dad, idea, guys. Nope, I have a good idea. Dad can take his shoes and socks off, roll his pants legs up, and take and take us over one at a time on his back. Now, that's a good idea. So we don't have to all take your shoes and it'll take more time to pull us all back on. One wheel probs. Come on, Azzy. Azzy the Wonder Puppy. These kids amaze me on these things. This narrow of a hiking path and they are just going like they're on natural dirt. Look at them. Well, Rusty opted out of hiking us all across the creek barefoot. So we decided to keep coming around and uh, just staying on it. And it's brought us to a really pretty little beach. We're just trying to find a way across. What'd you find, buddy? It's too deep. It's too deep. There's not much more peaceful than listening to the sound of that creek. Willie, does the water feel good? Cold winter day, but the sun's shining. And we are getting out and making the most of it. Guys, I'll tell you the way across the shallowest path. No way. Keep your speed up. Keep your speed up. One of the one of the coolest parts about this trail is right off the road. Look, pretty much there's the parking area right up there. If you don't go left and go the way we went and you just come straight on, you come down here to this beautiful gravel bar. And this is really, really nice in the summer too. So in the summer, we actually get up here by boat. We bring our boat in the other entrance of Silmore as far as we can go. And then we kind of park it out and hike up to here through the water. And it always feels so good in the summertime, but in the winter, you can get here the way we did today in the truck and hike down. Sycamores are good and strong. <laughs> Y'all are making me a little nervous, though. Careful, Ricks. And then you just come on down around the corner to this big, beautiful bluff. And right over there, are the rope swings. There's actually two, isn't there? Uh, just one. Look, this big, look. pretty curve. Well, look, it says my name. <laughs> Good girl. That's not a photo op. I don't know what is. Ooh, we uh, saw a little trail coming up off the creek and I said, oh, I bet there's something cool up there. Let's hike up it. So we did, and the only cool thing is a trail pretty much straight up and down. 
to get up to the road. So I guess here we go. Like little mountain goats. <sighs> Please be careful. So we made it up this. <laughs> Pretty much straight up and down. Made it up here to the road, the original road we came in on. So it'll just take us right back down to the truck. Also right off the main road up from the parking area. So you can go that way down to trails or you can just come right up here in this corner and there's some pretty cool new trails up this way too. I think they're fairly new. Um, I noticed some new markings on them from the park service. So I think I hear the boys up here. They got ahead of me on the road. And I think I can hear them up this way. And it doesn't get much prettier than that. So I found the boys. Willie sniffed them out for me. And look at this place. How have we never been here before? We've had our place at Mountain View since spring 2015 and never found this place before. How beautiful, look at this. And it's five minutes off of the highway. Wow. Wow. How have we never been here before? I am like in awe. Well, compared to this 45 degree temperatures we have today, unbelievable. There's the Arkansas rock. We actually discovered this place um, a month or so ago during the big snowstorm. We came up here and hiked one day to clean the cabin and uh, came up to clean the cabin, hiked up here and found this big waterfall that had frozen into a huge icicle. And that pile of logs was like a big icicle dome. Um, but we didn't know about the other place around the corner. So this place is still pretty, but oh, and there's another one boys. If you can see through the trees, there's some water flowing off the hill over there. Let's go check it out too. Mama, what? That cave goes in there goes like four. I don't want to look in there. Boys, don't drink that water. Mom, that's good. Pure mountain spring water, I guess. I don't think that's a good idea, son. Waterfall tour is over. I think we are gonna go back down to the truck and find Rusty. He bailed on us. And <laughs> we came down the road. He said, I'm not interested in waterfalls. So he's waiting on us at the truck. Come on, Willie. Old man stays with me. He hangs out with mom. Don't you, Will? Has nothing to do with how fluffy his butt's getting. I think somebody's getting out of shape. Willie, are you getting out of shape? Go on, Fluffy. The boys have made a discovery that I have to come see. Whoop, I get through the briars. Okay, I see the creek coming. Creek's running through and it comes back Uh oh. Tangled up, boys. Okay, so they've said the creek is running through. The creek is running through the creek. Oh, wow. Because it's hollow and it's coming out. That is pretty. We have to get out and enjoy this stuff this time of year because during the summertime, snakes would be way too bad. We've been places today where I'm just sitting there cringing, thinking, I hope the timber rattlers are hibernating right now. Pretty cool, boys. Now we're back to the truck, having us a little healthy snack. About to go find another one. 
oranges. Mm -hmm. Tell us which road we're on now, Russ. Up for the next adventure. This road here has got a yellow line in the middle, and then it's got two white lines on each side. <laughs> Boys, tell us where we're going. Come on. Blanchard Springs. A lot of people come up here just to go to the caves, but we like to go down past the caves down to a place called Mirror Lake. There's some really cool hiking trails. Um, it's right off of, what highway is that? Highway 5? Highway 5. Blanchard Spring Caverns. If you just keep going down the hill past Blanchard Spring Caverns, past the caves, you come down and it says the lake is right down here and the spring. Take a ride at the bottom of the hill and we like to find a good spot along the lake, park. Um, there's a parking area like designated paved parking area all the way down, but you can also park like right on the side of the road and just hike straight down to the lake. It's a really pretty spot. This place is really neat. You can walk a really nice concrete path all the way from the parking area, like all the way around up the spring, or you can go this way back up to Mirror Lake. Come on, Rex. I don't think we're going to go up there today, but there is a off the path path that only a few know about. You come across right here on the creek, go wind your way up there, and straight up there is a pretty neat cave. I'm sure the boys will want to end up going, but caves straight up this old creek bed right up there. So not too bad of a hike, and right off of the little path leads right here to the entrance of the spring. <laughs> Had to park the one wheels for this. Nowhere like the natural school. Listen to the sheer power of that thing. Wow. The hatter's trying to figure out a way across. This boy. We had to come see the waterfall from the top. Watch them, watch them. No, Azzy. I'm gonna creep around this ledge. Oh, wow. Rescue watch me. Oh my gosh. This is straight up and down. Of course, they found another one to go up. These boys are going to sleep good tonight. And as he is, too. She's making every step they make. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I was hoping we could just walk to the truck and bypass this little trail that the boys said. Mom, we have to hike up to the cave. So mom is straight worn out. But here we go. <laughs> up one more mountain to another spot. Someone got left behind and he's freaking out. He missed the spot. Come on, let's go. Come on, old man. Let's go, let's go, let's go. There he goes. So right off this path, come up. A little beaten trail right here goes up to these steps and then straight up the boys are already making their way up holy moly i'm out of shape i just ran up that thing well we definitely did not hike all the way up here to break the law so this is not us going in unfortunately since it's closed due to the spread of W and S in bats, white nose syndrome. We can't go in, but we can come back when it's open. Go explore in pretty good ways. 
Now for the trip back down. No, that's dangerous. You be careful. We just went from the entrance to the spring. We're gonna drive back down here and check out Mirror Lake. The boys wanted to ride their one wheels. There's not many lakes in Arkansas this color, but this one, the way it comes out of the caves, has the prettiest color of blue. The one wheel in us to continue. This place has a really good path all the way around the lake and down below where you can see it rushing over. We've been bringing the boys here since they were a little bitty. You can actually catch trout in this lake, which is not really common here, but because this one's spring fed, it's cold enough to support trout. We just drove down past the uh, Mirror Lake and the spring, kind of cruising around. This campground down here is really, really neat. The downside, or it could be a plus side or a downside, there's not much cell phone service down here. So, if you're coming to get away from everything, it's a good spot. If you need cell phone service, don't recommend it. But, there is a really cool cave up here. It's pretty easy to get to. Unless you've got starling. Yeah. I don't know, there's a lot of trees. I don't even know if starling would work down here. Starling would work. But check out this big cave at the foot of this hill. Oh. Campgrounds all the way down here. And opens up to that. Right up past the uh, caves you can keep going on the same highway takes you to this little spot called gravity brew works they have a little dog park area out there for the dogs games for the kids and it's a kind of a neat little spot in the middle of nowhere 56 arkansas so this is a pretty cool little spot to take a break after all that hiking this is set up so cool for dogs and for kids there's cornhole, there's frisbees, there's just little outdoor games and a pretty cool view. You got the sun, dog. I know. We just pulled off the side of the road to see the pipe that flows over the mountain. Isn't it like 24 7, 365? Oh, yeah. We left Gravity, heading back to Mountain View so we can go to Tommy's Famous pick up our Tommy Q pizza. And we always have to stop at the water pipe where the water just flows out of the mountain. Fill your jugs. People come here and they do, they fill. It's been a long day of hiking. Rick's and tired as he's tired. Riders eating a little pizza. But we did just stop at the world famous, Tommy's famous. Picked up a big Tommy Q pizza. It's their version of barbecue pizza. Half rack of ribs, like corn muffin. Rusty doesn't even like pork meat, but we, like but we like it from Tommy Q because it's it's just mm -hmm. it is our favorite restaurant in the state of Arkansas. I know that's a strong statement, but we're standing behind it. Truth, try it. C two. Yes. I put a white peg where? You put a white peg in.